In reflection of Pakistan's tough stand on talk sources, in the Pakistan High Commission has now told India that conditional and dictatorial diplomacy is not acceptable to us. We have firmed up our meeting with Hurriyat leaders. There is no question of cancellation of talks with Hurriyat. I want to immediately cut across to Maha Siddiqui. Maha, you know, the kind of statements that we have seen from either side from 5 p.m. yesterday is only escalating the situation. There is very little possibility, Maha, that talks can be held in these atmospherics. Well, at least uh, the atmosphere is not conducive, if I can put it that way. But India still wants to go ahead with talks because at this particular juncture, India has a lot of evidence to confront Pakistan with in the form of the interrogation of Naved, the terrorist who was caught alive uh, in Udhampur. Also, the, the pictures that have emerged of Daud Ibrahim, the telephone bills of uh, his, uh, in the name of his wife that have emerged, which, uh, uh, which give his address as Clifton and Karachi. So clearly, all all that evidence is with India, which India wants to confront Pakistan with. But Pakistan High Commission sources uh, now hardening their stance, saying that if India has evidence against uh, uh, Pakistan in the form of Naved and Daud, then so does Pakistan against India of India's alleged interference in Pakistan. So clearly, they are also hardening their stand at this point. And as you were rightly mentioning, what the sources are also saying is that they will not uh, bow down uh, to what they believe is dictational and uh, de conditional diplomacy. They believe that uh, they have the right to speak with the Hurriyat as has been uh, a norm in the past and they will continue to do so. What they forget is that the foreign secretary level talks last year were called off over the same issue. But they do not want to go back on this now. They are also hardening their position because as there is a perception in India that Pakistan wants to push this to a situation where uh, the talks are in fact called off or the situation is so difficult that the two countries can't go ahead with talks and it does appear with the hardening of stand that uh, uh, you know that is the aim of the other right. country. You know uh, Maha clearly that might be the aim where Pakistan is concerned but with what we've heard uh, from the Indian side it's very clear that no matter what India wants these talks to take place especially uh, you know where projecting it to the, the global platform is concerned. Absolutely. In fact, uh, this discussion happened between uh, Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and uh, Narendra Modi, our Prime Minister, in Ufa. And at that time, it was clearly highlighted in the joint statement that the NSC level talks will happen and they will center around terrorism. So that is why India is constantly saying that there can be no deviation in the conditions there. So therefore, if new conditions are attached, that is what Pakistan is doing at the moment of uh, wanting to bring in the K issue. Not just that. Also talking to the Hurriyat, you know my sources told me Preeti that, uh, that we can't turn off the mic when Pakistan is talking about uh, Kashmir to us. But certainly the fact that they want to bring in the Hurriyat at this point in time is something that is not acceptable to India. India has also hardened its stand in the sense that earlier, the sense that we were getting was that if this meeting between the Sartaj Aziz and the Hurriyat leaders takes place after the NSA level official talks on Monday morning, then perhaps uh, India might reconsider. But India has now hardened its stand to the fact that no talks with Hurriyat will be acceptable when Sartaj Aziz comes to India. So clearly, India is also drawing the red line. It is saying that it is not acceptable that the conditions that were laid down in Ufa are tampered with or distorted.